Folks, we need to talk about the best story of the year, perhaps. So Donald Trump decided to weigh in in the Senate race. It's a GOP primary in Missouri, and he made an endorsement. The problem is he's a little bit unclear about who he's actually endorsing. So he released this statement. There's a big election in the great state of Missouri, and we must send a MAGA champion and true warrior to the U.S. Senate, someone who will fight for border security, election integrity, our military, and great veterans, together with having a powerful toughness on crime and the border. We need a person who will not back down to the radical left lunatics who are destroying our country. I trust the great people of Missouri on this one to make up their own minds, much as they did when they gave me landslide victories in 2016 and 2020 elections, and I am therefore proud to announce that Eric has my complete and total endorsement. <laughs> okay, now the problem <laughs> is that there's t <laughs> there's literally two Eric's in the GOP primary <laughs> in this race. So <laughs> he's endorsing Eric in all caps, but nobody <laughs> nobody knows which Eric he's endorsing. <laughs> And both of them are claiming his endorsement. So Eric number one, Eric Greitens, tweeted, I'm honored to receive the president's endorsement. From the beginning, I've been the true MAGA champion, fighting against the rhino establishment backing Schmidt. President Trump said it best when he characterized Schmidt's campaign as great dishonesty in politics. Now the other Eric, Eric Schmidt, tweeted, <laughs> I'm grateful for President Trump's endorsement as the only America first candidate who has actually fought for election integrity, border security, and against the left indoctrination of our kids. I'll take that fight to the Senate to save America. Now, at the time that I filmed this, Trump still has not clarified which of the two Eric's that he wants to support. But Eric Greitens, uh, he made a tweet that leads us to believe that perhaps Trump endorsed him because of a phone call that he talks about. He writes, I just had a great phone call with President Trump. I thanked him for his support. Together, we will MAGA and save America. So if Trump called that Eric, then clearly he's the chosen Eric, right? Well, no. <laughs> Because it gets better. Trump called both Eric's. <laughs> the fuck? So as Mediaite explains, Greitens was likely speaking of the Trump call described by Politico where the former president reportedly called Greitens with the news of his endorsement. Trump made a similar call to Schmidt, but didn't tell either Eric that he was... <laughs> This is so insane, but didn't tell either Eric that he was also endorsing the other. This ambiguousness created by Trump leaves the Republican base to divide itself and fight it out to see which Eric will be the Republican nominee for the Senate. So Trump literally called both Eric's to congratulate them on his endorsement. And they're both thinking, oh, wow, I got this endorsement. They're both bragging about it. And nobody knows who Trump actually wants to endorse. I say... Let him have an all-out duel to the death, and the surviving Eric claims Trump's endorsement. Trump should respect the results of the duel. That's why I think that, you know, this should uh, go about, uh, or how he should go about this. Um, either way, so now you have people in MAGA world butting heads because... Some are saying, no, 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 he's endorsing Eric number one. And then the other side of MAGA world saying, no, he's endorsing our Eric. So first of all, Dan Bongino has made it very clear who he believes that Trump has endorsed. So in response to Eric Greitens boasting about Trump's endorsement on Twitter, Bongino responds by saying, nope, not a chance in hell. Flush that seat down the toilet if Greitens wins. So Bongino apparently doesn't believe that Trump endorsed him. Also in response to Greitens' call with Trump, Bongino writes, bullshit, read the endorsement. This dude is a fraud. So Bongino's like, no, 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 read the endorsement again. Read it carefully. It's clear who Trump is endorsing. It's Eric. And I've just got to share this response to Bongino's tweet with this Trump supporter saying, why is Trump doing this? Oh my God, this is the best story ever. American politics is so stupid that you can't not laugh at the things that happen sometimes. And by the way, fuck you, Dan Bongino, for blocking me because I had to turn on incognito mode to get the screenshots for these tweets. But that's besides the point. According to Bongino, Schmidt is clearly the favorite of the MAGA movement, right? Maybe not so much because Kimberly Guilfoyle, Trump's daughter-in-law, I think, or maybe they're engaged. Anyway, she's uh, the partner of Trump Jr. She made it very clear she supports the other Eric. Missouri, get out there and vote. 
for Eric Greitens, a true patriot who puts America first, the favorite of the MAGA movement. We need Eric's leadership. So she's very clearly choosing Eric Greitens. And because I'm an agent of chaos, I'm going to distribute this video into the world to sow even more confusion within the ranks of MAGA chuds. Missouri, get out there and vote for Eric Schmidt, a true patriot who puts America first, the favorite of the MAGA movement. Hmm. Maybe she endorsed Greitens, maybe she endorsed Schmidt. Who knows, you saw the video. She said Schmidt and Greitens, so which one is the accurate video, folks? It's really difficult to determine which one is uh, authentic. Either way, I love this. I hope that he doesn't clarify. Um, you know, the primary is taking place today. So, you know, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Either way, it's too late because voters don't really know. Both Eric's have legitimately a reason to believe that they were endorsed. So I, I, I love this. I feel like this should be the strategy going forward with Trump endorsements. Uh, although, you know, it's it's not that often that you get two Eric's in a particular GOP primary. But if it does happen again, Trump should do the same thing because there's no doubt in my mind that he's got to know what he's doing. And it's not that he's being indecisive. I think that he just wanted to watch the world burn and he's laughing his ass off right now. That's That's got to be what's happening. Because, I mean, how do you just endorse Eric? in all caps, and then you just, you leave it as is. I mean, Jesus Christ. Either way, I love this story so much. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. Come. 